Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to Storytime in the Galleries. Today, we're reading It's Only Stanley by Jonna G with permission from Penguin Random House. This book is about a dog that does some unusual things at night while his family is sleeping. This nighttime theme reminds me of a painting in the galleries. Let's take a look. This painting is by Elizabeth Murray. This artist loved to use giant, colorful shapes in her paintings. Here, she painted the shapes on a rectangular canvas, but other times she made shaped canvases, then painted on them. While her work is abstract, you might find different references to real things. This painting is called Night Reach. Notice the white circle with blue shapes running across it. This reminds me of a full moon. Now, on to the story. It's Only Stanley by John G. The Wimbledons were sleeping. It was very, very late when Wilma heard a spooky sound, which made her sit up straight. That's very odd, said Walter. I don't recognize the tune. Walter doesn't look very happy here. How It's only Stanley, Walter said. He's howling at the moon. The Wimbledons were sleeping. It was later than before. When Wendy heard a clanking sound below her bedroom floor. That's very odd, said Walter. And then they heard another clank. Everyone's awake again, even the cat. Clank, clank, clank. Look at Stanley, what's he doing? It's only Stanley, Walter said. He fixed the oil tank. The Wimbledons were sleeping. It was even later still, when Willie smelled a funky smell that made him kind of ill. That's very odd, said Walter when it's almost half past two. Oh, here's the family awake again, and Willie smelling something very strange. Blub, blub, blub. Slurp, slurp, slurp. What's Stanley doing now? It's only Stanley, Walter said. He's making catfish stew. The Wimbledons were sleeping. It was as late as it can get when Wanda heard a buzzing noise that made her all upset. That's very odd, said Walter, when it's almost half past three. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Bzz, bzz, bzz. What's Stanley doing now? He's on top of the TV. It's only Stanley, Walter said. He fixed our old TV. The Wimbledons were sleeping. It was late beyond belief when Wiley heard a splashy sound that made him say, good grief. That's very odd, said Walter, when we've had so little rain. Look, the family's up again. Swish, splash, sploosh. Oh no, what's Stanley up to now? It's only Stanley, Walter said. He cleared the bathroom drain. Now Wilma wasn't happy, and the children threw a fit. We'll never get to sleep tonight if Stanley doesn't quit. I understand, said Walter and I'll talk to him right now. But just as Walter turned to go, there was a big kapow. The Wimbledons went flying, including Max, the cat. 
Wendy looked around and said, well, what on earth was that? I'll go and look, said Walter, and I'll be back very soon. It's only Stanley, Walter said. We're going to the... Uh-oh. on the moon. And here's Stanley with a friend. The end. After the story, we make something inspired by what we've seen and heard. Let's try making a rocket like Stanley did at the end of the book. For this project, you can use whatever you have on hand. I'm using bits of things from a junk drawer, tape, and color sticks. Assemble your pieces, then add color. Then, take your rocket on a trip. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.